Alright, hello guys, this is the group Set the S for uh, Killing Floor. We're here with Twistinator. Hello! Come on, Twistinator. Hello. Twistinator. Hey, yeah. Greetings. Lol. We also have with us tonight Bio, <laughs> our lovely Bio. Ah, oh, yeah. And Bio. of course, Alchemist. Hey guys. Hello, viewer. Hey. Yeah, right. Lol. So we're just gonna show you guys some uh, gameplay, I think, and uh, we'll be uh, it will be supported with our uh, yeah our sound effects. Ha! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> High tech stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, let's go. Here we go. Ready? So as you can yeah, see, yeah. I'm, I picked a sniper perk, and a alchemist twist and bio. Yeah. So we all have different bio. classes as we are playing as. So we have a fire bug who's using flaming weapons, I'm a medic, obviously healing people. Uh, Twistinator is a commando, uh, using assault rifles, so is shot. So, just a short review for people who don't know uh, Killing Floor. It's basically a zombie shooter game from uh, Half-Life Source, probably, right? Nope. Uh, the game was originally a mod for Unreal Tournament 2004 and then got standalone. Uh, now running on the Unreal Engine 2.5, heavily modified. Uh, but yeah, you're right, it's, a, it's well, we can't call it a zombie shooter game because what we're shooting is uh, our. Uh, how do they actually go, call them? Not zombies, but uh, uh, zombies yeah. or experiments. Ah. Yeah. They'll look at zombies anyway. Well, the game is basically um, built up in waves. You fight a wave of, of zombies. You go to the the trader where you can buy your guns and ammo and um, armor, and then the next wave starts after the time runs out, and we can uh, fight another wave. Oh. And in the end, you fight the boss. And when you win this, you yeah, move on to the next map. It's basically just survivor mode, actually, in any normal game it would be. Yep. Right. Oh, if you and see the leveling. No, oh, sorry, go ahead. Have you seen, um... Jewish Tour of the Dead? Have you seen that? Nope. Oh, you haven't <laughs> seen it? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh I don't yeah, know where so my so boots are, so uh, switching over to my knife. Yeah. Right. You have multiple weapons, uh, let like, me just talk uh, about the weapons your health pack. Yeah, the weapons. Can I talk about the weapons a bit? Sure. Alright, so you have multiple yeah, weapons. Sure. Uh, basically, every every class can uh, pick up every weapon, but the classes are pretty much um, to every cl uh, class has a certain amount of weapons that are basically attached to it. So, indeed, what Alchemist already told me uh, told you guys, the Firebug is the the flamethrower dude. So his weapon is the flamethrower. That means it's cheaper to buy at the trader uh, when you choose the perk Firebug. Firebug you can uh, get a flamethrower cheaper and it, uh, you will get all kinds of um, extras with it so if I use, uh, uh, being a leveled firebug, if I use a flamethrower it's much better uh, much stronger in my hands than if uh, Twistnado who is a commando, if he would buy a flamethrower now yes, uh, and um, yeah, well, oh. yeah basically, yeah, no, go ahead <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to say a bit about uh, the those flashing uh, lights, because maybe people look strange at it, uh, with it. It's actually just a waypoint to go uh, to the shop. As you can see, I just bought some uh, some stuff, and uh, that you can do that uh, between every round. Yeah. You mean the red lights? Yeah, uh, the red, the red flashing light. Yeah, the waves. Right. Well, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for people who are wondering, you can. It, yeah. For people who are wondering, you can shut that off. So if you go for a more realistic, uh, if you want to go for a more realistic style, you can shut it off. And in the top left corner, there's an arrow, and that points you towards the trader as well. It's it's a little, it's e it's less easy to find her, but um, you know, I for example have it set to off because I don't like that red line. So yeah, and a really cool thing about the weapon. And I forgot to buy a freaking flamethrower. Ah, uh, you so failed. And go ahead. Uh, well, uh, what I want to say is that no weapons have any iron sights, uh, uh, every crosshairs, any crosshairs, I'm sorry. Uh, you can only aim via the iron sight, which is a really cool map and yeah. it's more realistic. You, uh, must be said, you don't have to because of course, oh shit, um, I mean you can just shoot them uh, using the middle of your screen, 
Because basically that is always where you're aiming. Yeah. But it is preferred to use... Oh fuck! It is preferred to use the iron sight. So this, this game is actually uh, pretty good fun, especially when you have uh, a couple of friends around like we have. Uh, the more serious your group is, the higher you can get, and that's pretty fun. I think what's fun about this game as well. Yeah. So we are yep. right uh, also, the the developers uh, the developers are Tripwire, and they have been pretty good at this point for this game with uh, free content upgrades in the in the way of uh, guns. Um, and maps and uh, the option to buy skins so if you see me and alchemist in the video we have uh, bought skin packs and uh, wearing a special skin. Yeah. this yellow suit is bio it's a special map pack I think it's map pack 3 uh, alchemist has a military dude that I think is standard and uh, oh wait that's twitch snyder sorry and alchemist has uh, yeah, sorry, it was, it was twist. Yeah, sorry. It's because I Whoa. love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Also, uh, you might wonder how you can heal, uh, how you can be healed because you can't purchase health kits or anything. You have a device, you have a welder device to lock doors, you lock every door with the welder device. And you have a, a health device which you can use to heal yourself. Or heal oh, others, it's much gosh. more effective to heal, uh, to be healed by someone to, than to heal yourself. Yeah. And me as a medic, has, I have the healing gun, which can shoot healing guards to heal uh, on a certain range. Which is, uh, really useful. Yeah, so of naturally every perk has its own advantage. Yes. And you can level them, uh, if you get... Uh, points for doing certain tasks which change uh, for each perk like firebug has to do damage with the flamethrower, sharpshooter has to do headshots and uh, uh, for if you reach a certain uh, amount of the goal you can advance in that level and get uh, more uh, bonuses. Yeah, maybe Don't Twitch wanna explain something about that slow motion. That slow motion is when you, uh, I think, headshot somebody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you um, give someone a headshot, it like sometimes it triggers uh, an effect which makes everything go slow motion, and it's really cool. Yeah, so that oh, yeah, that's right, right, right. Yeah, we didn't mention guys. it. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So uh, that is just basically gave me just some uh, weapons there, or some uh, money. That's also a thing you can do. Uh, it's still not enough to buy the dual hand cannons I like, but still, that, that, never mind. Like you can see, just throw money, yeah. Try. Money, money, money. <laughs> ah, yeah. If you hear sound, if you hear those English sound effects, you might find that annoying. I find them annoying, so again, you can set that to off, like I have. I find them amusing. Yeah, mine are still on. Alright. Oh man, my. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh! Um, I think there are about six or seven different enemies at this time in the game. The husk, uh, which you might. There's this. Um, you might see the enemy who shoots fireballs, that's, a, that's the husk. It was laid, uh, added later by the game's developers for free again. Basically, the only thing you have to pay for are. Ex uh, as, uh, how do you call those? Aesthetic things, just things to look, but not, yeah, cosmetic, right. Uh, nothing game right, changes, all the important stuff is for free, and skins uh, you gotta uh, pay for.